So I just wanted to make a, a short video real fast about the stock power system on the Hobby King Radjet. I, uh, I was just doing some testing yesterday and I realized not everyone has time to obsess like I do and not everyone is an engineering student and cares about stuff like this as much as, uh, well, as, much as I think they should. But I just thought that this would be some useful information for people that are uh, looking to get a little bit more performance out of their out of their Radjet and if you're thinking about buying one, you should probably buy it because it's pretty great. Other than the stock propeller, which is the only thing I can really see as being a, a major problem. Just going to compare the stock 5x5 five five or 5x5.5, five five five, I'm not exactly sure, with a, uh, a TGS Sport 5x5, five five, a Master Air Screw 6x4, and a TGS Sport 6x5. Five. And uh, the results kind of surprised me, so I thought I would share. Scale showing zero, watt meter showing 12.61 volts, so definitely not uh, not shortchanging the stock setup at all here. So bottle it up. As you can see, the uh, stock motor prop combination makes okay thrust, but it uh, it definitely pushes the limit of the stock 20 MPSC. So now I'm going to switch to the TGS 5x5, real quick here, and it, I believe, should make a little bit more thrust and surprisingly doesn't seem to draw quite as much power. So yeah, TGS 5x5, definitely a superior propeller to the stock propeller, but you can actually go quite a bit higher. The 6x4 will draw Fairly similar amount of uh, fairly similar amount of power. Slightly lower pitch speed, of course, because it's a a four uh, four inch pitch, not a five. But you will have tremendous thrust. So if you're not going for just uh, just speed, but you just want it to be able to climb indefinitely, and. Uh, and be easy to handle, this is probably the prop that you're going to want. So as you can see, uh, 17 amps there and oodles of grams of thrust. But I, uh, I found yesterday that I could even go a little bit higher without exceeding the limits of the stock ESC. This isn't the stock ESC, this is just my bench ESC. But when I switch to the uh, the biggest prop that I would uh, safely even think about using on this uh, on this setup, the TGS Sport 6x5, the results are a treat. So we're down to 12.4 volts here, but uh, should run just fine. Just the same. see about 700 grams continuous thrust and uh, just under 20 amps which for some reason is uh, slightly lower than what the stock prop was doing and I even tried switching out the uh, the stock prop with the, the spare that it came with just to see if that was a bad prop and uh, nothing really changed so yeah I mean if you're not interested in heavily modifying your rad jet, you just wanted to have a little more performance, I would definitely recommend switching to a 6x4 or 6x5. If you want all the performance, you can uh, take the, uh, the little wingtips off, fiber tape the, uh, fiber tape the leading edges, 
and switch to a Trinity 22, 23, 2900 kV motor and a Hobby King 60 amp ESC. This setup pulls uh, 704 watts continuous and has clocked repeated 132 mile an hour passes. So, just a thought. Also, doesn't need a wings bar. There is no spar in that thing. Good luck.